Hello and welcome to this video demonstration where I will show you how to configure and test the Wilson RTU32 running the IC6870-104 client. First I'll open the Excel sheet. The Excel sheet consists of several worksheets. We have the main, we have the variables, we have the 101 slave, 101 master, etc. In this video I'll concentrate on the main, the variables and the 104 client. First, I'll configure the main worksheet. Here, I'll give my project a name. We'll call this Client001. And then I have to put in the IP address of the RTU32 where the client will be running. In this case, this. Then I have to choose the program type. Here, I can choose between 101 Slave, 101 Master, 104 Server, and the client. And then just leave this client 001. Then I'll go to my variables. Here I define all the points that I'll be receiving and sending single point, double points, measured values, etc. First I have a local remote. I have a door. Switch. I have AC supply. Monitor. DC supply. I have a valve position, I have a flow, temperature, and a valve, valve control. And then I have to define the signal type. The signal type in this case is a receive, monitor, single point. Here, a double point for the valve position. Measured value normalized. And a send command, double point. So now I have to define my variables. I'll use this name convention, server001. And then the I.O. address, I'll just fill out these first. So, and here, like this, then my C.O.A. address of the server is 1. Then I can fill out my variable names. Then I'll have to define in my command if it's using the functionality select and execute. In this case we'll have a false and the time tag is zero. Now I've actually done the configuration for all my variables that will be monitoring from the 104 server. Then I have to go to the 104 client. Here I'll define the IP address of the server and the IP address of the server is 127 then I'll be using this so we can use Telnet or the event viewer to see what's happening on the RTU 32 now I've done configurating the RTU 32 now I'll go to the the generator, the code generator. Here I'll choose just to download the program directly to the RTU32. Here I can choose use the active Excel sheet or I can choose to browse for an Excel sheet and then several so all I can download directly four programs to four different RTU32s. But then I'll just generate. I'll close this one, open the 
tell the client and port 911 so now we have here then I'll try to change one of the digital inputs running on the RTU32 server so here we got a message from IP address 127 I'll take the next digital input on the server like this I'll try changing the analog inputs on the server and see if we receive these events yeah there was one etc so the client is receiving all the messages from the server this was all for now thank you